It's about eight o'clock at night, and I'm heading somewhere where quite a lot of young Chinese, men especially, like to spend their evenings these days. An internet or gaming cafe. Hello. Hi there. What can I help you? Uh, how much is it for an hour? As early as 2012, China had surpassed the United States to become the world's largest personal computer market. Uh, and also, you can see over here, there's like massage chairs if you want the really luxury experience. As you can see, they're all kind of like cushioned and you even have the leg massages down there as well. And eSports were being featured at the 2018 Asian Games. For many Chinese, their first taste of video games will have come via a homegrown device that was very popular in China. Uh, the 1980s saw the introduction of China's first programming contest for children, amid Deng Xiaoping's calls for computer education to begin with the young. Compulsory computer classes in schools have helped many Chinese get to grips with information and communications technology. But to get a closer look at the inner workings of the country's telecommunications industry, I'll have to visit a factory. Chinese tech brands have taken the world by storm in recent decades, creating fierce competition. So this was an airlock we just went through because the area we're coming into is a low dust area. So this machine is testing how the phones stand up in a heavy rainfall. Today, three of the five largest mobile phone manufacturers in the world are Chinese. This is the Oppo assembly line. And for some reason I've been let loose on it. So I apologise to anyone who gets one of these phones. <laughs> I already don't know what I'm doing. Here we go. I think I probably should leave it to someone who knows what they're doing. You can tell that every phone made here has a lot of work put into it by a lot of people and a lot of machines. Now, in order to further develop, many companies are creating new growth strategies. I did a lot of transformation project for Oppo. At a very early uh, stage or the beginning, a lot of persons think uh, the Oppo's success will be down to aggressive marketing and brand promotion, but, but this is not true. Innovation is always uh, in our DNA. So currently we do a lot of investment, especially in the next generation 5G communication standard. We set up our Oppo Research Institute and with six research center across the world. But not all Chinese manufacturers are set on world domination. Hi there, is this Hello. a techno phone? Yeah. Oh wow, the colors are really bright, very vibrant. It's mm -hmm. certainly a lot smarter. Uh, Did you see that picture? Oh yeah. One in particular has focused more on the Africa market and is now the largest smartphone company on the continent by sales. So from that we found that like the African consumers, they really like to take photos, but sometimes in the low light environment, the, the photo quality was not very good. That's why we developed, we say, a Pixel X technology that's really focused on, it attracts more light on the, the skin, so it also helps you to, to make better photos. Uh, Transcend headquarters is also in Shenzhen. If you look at uh, the history of Shenzhen, I mean, it's, uh, it, it was a like, tiny, tiny place 40 odd years back and last 30, 40 years, it's, it's really one of the greatest cities in the world already. So it's, it's always in the, in the, in the, on, the, on the go and uh, we believe that we are in the right, right place. And it's not just highly desirable mobile phones. Some Chinese manufacturers, such as Jainus Precision Components in Dongguan, are supplying China and the world with the parts required to create new innovations. Are, are you local? Are you from around here? This is quite a big factory, but I don't see that many workers. I've noticed quite a few automated processes. Uh, what can you tell me about that? Actually, 
是我们最大的一个困难。我因为我原来是在海外工作嘛，在海外工作呢，环境是很恶劣的。我作为家里面的一个顶梁柱，我要对家庭负责，因为我家庭是已经全部在东莞这边，能够有个稳定的家，另外我又可以在这里有创业，给我认这个人生来说也是一个大的跨越。Today, Dongguan is an important industrial city. So now I will take you to a little store to experience the traditional Chinese therapy. But there's quite a bit of history and old architecture too, as you can see all around us. I nearly fell asleep, but I managed to stay awake. <laughs> Although I had read there's a type that's meant to leave scars, so, <laughs> but thankfully I don't think that was this one. Manufacturing in the Pearl River Delta has gone from strength to strength since the start of reform and opening up. There's been so much progress in just four decades. Imagine what could be done in the years to come.